So we previously talked about delaying methods such as select, return an anonymous object like this. So here, as you can see, we are using the new keyword and there is no class type defined for this. So what C Sharp will do is it will create an object behind the scenes, which will have the following two properties. And then we just use the var keyword here. And as you can see, I'm using it to loop through the filtered variable later on as well. So that's the filtered variable here. And I'm just using it here again. So the reason for using the var our keyword is of course we don't know the data type because normally you would have syntax like this which is new and then a class type but here you can see we're using the new keyword but we are not specifying what type of object it is so c sharp will create that for you so if i just run this code you can see the type of this object that it creates is actually this list where select iterator 2 but we didn't know this during code creation that only gets created when it passes through the compiler so that's why we use the var keyword but here here is a modified code and notice this time I'm using class type of simple person. So what does that simple person class actually contain? So let's have a look. So you can see simple person has just the name and the town, whereas our full class, which is the person class, has name, town and country. So then we just assigned the properties from the existing class, which is the person class, name and town, to our new class, which has the properties name and town as well. And what that allows us to do is then use simple person here as the return type and then we are able to in our loop rather than using the var keyword are able to refer to the class type for the filtered variable over here and as you can see if i run this code over here and get the type this time so let's run this and find out what type we get and as you can see we get a type of simple person whereas previously we've got an anonymous type so as you can see here when i try and get the type of this we get anonymous but as you saw before that we get simple person rather than anonymous because we can use the simple person class over here and we have rather than just returning a new object like this we can actually return a simple person class type and not have to use the var keyword in situations where we design.